What's up? Uh, they call me Proke. Here's some display of the street work that I've done uh, throughout last year. And this is kind of, in a way, that but put into like a clothing company, a brand, something people could like relate to, maybe attract people that are not normally attracted to graffiti or don't see it at all because you could drive past this and past something amazing and realize someone spent so much time putting in like colors, details, um, but people don't notice it. I wanted to talk about my beautiful P, my main letter. My main man, you know, me and P get along really well. It's my, my favorite letter right now. Um, I wanted to bless people with it, introduce it. That way you could see a little bit of the street art inside of a gallery. And then I got uh, that mirror piece. That mirror piece means a lot to me. Uh, I feel like uh, it's very Bob Ross inspired because I got to use like a little piece of metal to drag the acrylic across the glass. It's definitely one of my favorite pieces. Simple and straight to the point. It shows you a lot about me. And it also goes along with those two wooden pieces. And it's almost mirrored effect, but they're two different complete pieces. Um, and there's some of the work I've done throughout the year uh, with me and a fellow uh, crew member, Krog. And these are very significant pictures, spots, uh, dates in my life. So I wanted to just show those to the people, to the audience, and uh, see what they thought about them. Maybe they feel the same way about them, or whatever they feel, honestly. And then I got my sea monster. My sea monster is a self-portrait. I feel like lost at sea sometimes, and I feel like a monster sometimes. And I feel like I'm drowning, I feel overwhelmed, uh, it's just, crazy what I could get out of just looking at that piece, um, but it's definitely a self-portrait. And uh, yeah, take a look. Tell me how I look. Hello, my name is Luis Castaneda Zacarias. I've been painting for 10 years straight. I'm inspired by my past and future, and I'm an artist for Paint a Brain. Here is an invisible spaceship. Here's a fingerprint as being in the system of the law. Here's a timeline where it all boils down to six different uh, steps as far as sleeping, walking, feeling, thinking, exercising, as far as a lifestyle. And here is a toy for the blind. This is for me as far as forgetting certain situations or certain actions, as far as going to the store and buying something, I don't realize how, what it took for that item to get there. So as far as struggle, uh, it could be pain, it could be either or. So with this piece, all I'm trying to say is for me not to forget when I go buy something and it's there for me and easy access for me. This took me around a month but it, I would only work on it every day, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes tops. I uh, kind of broke it down as far as to take my own breaks. It doesn't need to be finished right away, but it takes time to get uh, things done as far as art, well, in my perspective. This one right here is called Smart DNA. This comes from Thinkercat, which Adrian introduced me to, to that software or program. And it was something to be more creative as far as with your art. You could uh, break it down into a 3D dimensional toy. But yeah, these are my three pieces. This is my signature evolving. And these are the only ones I have as far as to present or to show other people. I'm Kermit Davis. Okay, this piece is, is the addition of nine cheeses here on the sculpture stand were made by a 3D printer. This work was done on the fly. It's a departure for me in the fact that traditionally, historically, 
I need to know everything about the outcome of a work of art before I proceed to even begin to even buy materials for that work of art historically. And this work of art is actually out of context for me in that I put it together on the fly. I just sort of started to play things by ear and was working more intuitive. One of the things that was very inspirational or uh, influential on me was a conversation I had with uh, art dealer Mary Boone, uh, who ran Mary Boone Galleries, when she told me, trust your instincts, Kermit. So when I work on the fly or impromptu, as I did with this work of art, uh, where I didn't think of what I was going to, the outcome was going to be ahead of time. I didn't know exactly what this was going to look like when I started working. And that implies the fact that I'm using my instincts and trusting my instincts so I can have a greater propensity to know that this work is the best to my ability. I'm Alfred Coles. I'm our program coordinator here at Paint and Brain. We just had our opening night of our More Than Words ex exhibition, um, which is part of our reentry through the arts program with Paint and Brain. Uh, Paint and Brain is an organization that's all about um, mental health and through arts advocacy and social enterprise. And um, this program was a way for us to give a uh, platform, a community, a space, um, resources and materials um, for artists, um, part of the reentry population. And uh, we had a really great night, a really great turnout. Um, and it was lovely seeing all of these artists be able to showcase their work and watch them put this stuff together over the last several months. If you wanna um, learn more about Painted Brain, you can go to paintedbrain.org and you can follow us on all of our sites at The Painted Brain.